Hi there, it's Jen from scrollandgrace.com. Today I have a pretty quick and easy Bible journal with me video here. Um, I wanted to do something that was summary and um, the verse I'm working on talks about thirst and so I was thinking lemonade and uh, so I thought I would do some citrus slices on my page here. So I'm just taking a variety of circle shaped objects to draw some circles on my page. The medium size is going to be my lemon, the large one is going to be my orange, and the small one is going to be my lime. And um, I drew out my circles on my page and then I'm erasing it just so I could hardly see the lines because if you the lines are too dark then you can see them really easily through the watercolor. And so I'm trying to keep those lines as light as possible. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and start painting. So I'm using a size 8 round brush, just a cheap one from the craft store that comes in the packs. I'm using my Kiritake Gansu Tambi watercolors. It's a great set that comes with a bunch of different shades of colors. And so um, I just picked out six colors, two yellows for my uh, lemon, two oranges for my orange, and two greens for my lime. And... Um, basically all I'm doing is <laughs> I'm just going to start drawing some triangles uh, all around in a circle. <laughs> um, I am trying my best to leave the very center of my circle white because when you look at a slice of lemon, you know there's that rind around each little wedge. And so the center is usually has the center of the rind and then the there is the, always that outer edge of the rind so each of my triangles um, I'm going to try the tip to leave a little bit of space in the center and then at the end the wider part I'm going to try to leave a little bit of space um, before I hit that rind or the outer edge circle um, and then in between each slice, I'm trying to leave some white space as well. You can see that the tips of each wedge that I'm drawing here, each triangle, the thinner parts touch each other. And that's kind of blending my colors together. And that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, <laughs> if you want each wedge to look very separate, you could definitely try to um, leave that white space completely. But I... Uh, was happy letting the tips blend and then just make sure that at least halfway through your wedges start to separate and you can leave that white space in between. If this is too complicated to freehand, you could totally um, mark your triangles beforehand also with the pencil. Um, I just personally decided to freehand it thinking it would be faster. <laughs> Might not have been. Um, <laughs> and uh, as far as the shape goes, I'm really not too worried about creating the perfect size triangle each time. Some of them are going to be wider and some of them are going to be skinnier, which is just like how it looks in the actual fruit. So that's something you definitely don't need to worry about. When it comes to the colors that I'm using, so I have my two tones. Um, I have my orangey yellow and then my more bright greeny um, yellow. And uh, <laughs> I'm basically just using them interchangeably. So about every other wedge I'm going to switch. That way it'll help me separate out each wedge. You'll be able to see it like the different uh wedge easier, I guess. <laughs> it also adds more interest having the different tones. Usually when I do watercolors, I talk about uh, changing up the saturation. So like using less water and more pigment or using more water and less pigment. And that'll create a variety of different, um, I don't know, it, it creates a more variety as well. But for this, I really just wanted to keep it simpler. And so I just did each wedge with full saturation. So just enough water to get a bunch of pigment on my, on my brush. And I just painted it on. So I wasn't too worried about the actual amount of saturation that I was using. I was more worried about the tones that I was using. So, um... That's something to just keep in mind. You don't, that's one of those more advanced techniques that can get a little um, 
intimidating with watercolor is changing up that saturation. But if you're just keeping the same saturation and just changing the actual color that you're using, um, as long as it's still a yellow, <laughs> it totally works. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, so I'm basically just going to keep on going ahead and painting my fruits. So I'm going to move on to my limes and my orange. You can also note that I have some that are overlapping. So um, I started with the ones that I wanted to look in, like they were in front or, or on top of the others. So I started with my lemons because I wanted those to be the main focal point. And then my limes and my orange, you'll see that um, they're, I'm going to not overlap on top of the lemons I already did. I'm going to let those circles um, start and stop around that lemon, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> ah, um, so like my lime is not a full circle, um, as you can see. So just keep that in mind. Um, I also wanted to be able to see the text underneath my um, each of my fruit here. So I uh, it got a little dark in certain spots, so I just blotted that up with a paper towel. That's the great thing about watercolor is that it's really easy to pick up some color if there's a little too much of it. Um, and I'm basically just doing the same thing with my lime and then my orange as well. So, um, Again, I'm using my Kiritake Gansai Tanby watercolors and my size 8 round brush and I will put the link to all of the supplies that I'm using, um, all of the colors specifically from that set that I'm using in the blog post that goes along with this video and you can find um, some helpful links there as well. Um, that blog post can be found at scribblinggrease.com slash citrus, <laughs> and um, I'll also put that link in the description below, so be sure to check that out. I also realized that I haven't fully said the verse that I'm working on. I'm working on Psalms 107.9, which in my ESV version says, For he satisfies the longing soul, and the hungry soul he fills with good things. In my NIV version, it says, for he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with the good things. Um, so I really like both of those versions, so I'm kind of blending them together. So my, I'm kind of focusing on the thirst from the NIV version with my citrus and my thinking of lemonade um, satisfying the thirsty. But um, when I'm thinking of my little mantra, um, I'm really like... <laughs> One of the things I love to do with my Bible journaling is I try to, as I'm painting, thinking of my mantra of the verse. So for this, my mantra is really, he satisfies the longing soul. He satisfies the longing soul. And so I'm going to write out, he satisfies. And then hopefully, even when I close the book, I'll come back and I'll just immediately see he satisfies. And I'll think in my head, the longing soul. So that's my whole purpose of, <laughs> of um, that. <laughs> So, um, I'm using my Uniball Signo gel pen, it's just a white gel pen, and um, to add some little seeds, and they're just really basic oval shapes. I try to add about three to each of my um, fruit slices here. So I'm trying to do a few that are closer to the center, and then maybe here and there I'll add one that's a little farther out from the center. Um, and that's about it for the painting wise. I'm going to dry this with my heat gun and then go ahead and do my He Satisfies lettering. Um, I am using my Tombow Funosuke brush pen to do the lettering today. I had a little bit of trouble with it this time, which um, if you know me, I love my Tombow Funosuke and I use it all the time. Um, but with these colors, they are so saturated um, that they're a little shiny and so the pen acted a little funky on it. But it turns out just fine. I just had to go over it a couple of times. Um, but I'm just using my Tombow Funosuke and some brush calligraphy. Um, I'm using the same exact technique that I teach in my brush calligraphy um, bounce lettering tutorial. Um, so I will put that link in the blog post and the description below and whatnot as well um, if you're interested in learning more about the lettering aspect. 
um, just using that brush pen and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some highlight my video ends up cutting out a little bit um, and you can't really see me doing the highlight but that's okay so <laughs> that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, let me know what you think in the comments below I'd love to hear from you and also reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram um, that's about it. I <laughs> remember to go to the blog post, scribblinggrace.com slash, slash citrus, um, to find out more about the supplies I used and all of that. All right. Have a great day. I hope you have a wonderful summer. God bless.